What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel where this time I'm over at Domino's to check out a version of something that I haven't tried in over seven plus years and considering how tasty this is looking right now I'm beginning to wonder why I waited so long. So let's get into this one. Feast your eyes on their stuffed cheesy bread, the bacon and jalapeno variant. And I gotta say, this is looking awesome already. What you're looking at here is eight oven baked breadsticks stuffed with cheese, smoked bacon, and jalapeno peppers that's also covered in a blend of mozzarella and cheddar cheeses. And not only that, it's also seasoned with a touch of garlic and Parmesan. But guys, the presentation is looking killer on it. And for dipping, I decided to go in with some garlic sauce to see if I can elevate that even further. And guys, I think it's going to. Garlic with all this goodness, how could it not? So let's not waste any more time on this one. It's the stuffed cheesy bread with bacon and jalapeno here at Domino's. Let's peep out this flavor. Well, I gotta say this is already winning in the presentation department, guys. I mean, oven baked bread with melted cheese and all the goodness to go with and the smell of garlic in my car right now with Parmesan. How bad could this really be? This looks really, really good. All right, let me break off a piece of this here and we'll get it going. Wow, this is very hot. I'm doing this on a very hot day as well. I've got my little fan off to the side. Wow, cheesy goodness on this, man. Take a look at that, guys. Lovely toasted action on the very top, mozzarella and cheddar cheese goodness. And we've got some bacon and supposedly some jalapeno in there. I'm guessing it's kind of chopped up, but nice and doughy. Let's give this a shot, guys. It's the stuffed cheesy bread, bacon and jalapeno variant of Domino's. Let's do it. Mmm. Toasty. Soft. Buttery even. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why I waited so long, guys. The garlic and the Parmesan, along with the butteriness that I'm getting with the oils of the cheese on top of it, it's a lovely situation. And honestly, I haven't really gotten to any real jalapenos yet. Let me swing this around the side here so you can take a look at it. There is a decent amount of cheese in the very top, and it is a very nice cheese stick, essentially, here, with a nice doughy action to go with. But I'm really digging this, guys. The quality of the garlic and everything with this is pretty banging. Let's keep going in. Pretty good. Mmm. There we go. Lots of bacon. Oh, yeah smoky flavor, and some jalapeno. Well, just after that second bite, I'm getting a better look on the inside of this one, and also looking at some of the pieces on the side here, the stuffed aspect of this, I'm thinking is pretty much on top of the bread itself with the cheese on the very top. So technically it's stuffed, but not exactly inside the dough. And I'll give you a representation of that right here. As you can see, front loaded on the very top, and then you have the nice chewiness on the very bottom right there, guys. But I gotta say, it's a decent amount of cheese, as you can see, with the Parmesan, the notes of garlic, all that good stuff. Really digging the quality and the smoke of the bacon is pretty banging. Let's keep going in and then of course we're gonna get into some garlic sauce. Hang on. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Take a look at the jalapeno action right there. Diced jalapenos, very lovely situation. Mmm. And actually, you know what? Let me lift this up really quick here and I'll try and pull this apart for you. There we go, some cheesy action. There is lots of goodness on this, guys. Very, very cheesy for sure. But again, it's more front-loaded on the very top of this here. Look at that. Just an awesome display of cheesy goodness for you. This is a pretty banging combination, guys. It really is. All right, so you guys getting hungry yet? Because the further I'm getting into this, the more hungry that I'm getting. So let's go in for a little bit of the garlic sauce and see how this is gonna pair up with it, guys. I can't wait to give this one a shot. Let's get this open here really fast. Decent, really decent, more buttery than anything else. So, without further ado, let's go for that dip action on a nice big chunk of the cheese right there. Take a look at that. Garlic action along with the mozzarella, the cheddar cheese goodness, the bacon, jalapeno, the butteriness, the bread, everything to go with, guys. Let's give it a shot. Right off the break with this garlic sauce, I gotta say, this is really more of a butter sauce. There's light garlic to it, it's not very heavy, but what I'm getting is a lot of the other ingredients shining through on the stuffed cheesy bread itself. And I guess you really want that because this is more of an accent. But guys, again, what you're gonna get is the nice toasty goodness of everything that this has to offer based upon the flavor that you choose. And of course, it's toasted bread, it's nice and buttery and on its own, but when you add that with the garlic sauce, it just elevates it that much more with a little bit of garlic flavor, guys. Just a little bit extra. But overall, guys, the combination works nicely. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That buttery goodness along with the smoked bacon is a very nice accent to everything as well. And then you're getting a nice flavor from the pickled jalapeno action. As you can kind of see there, it begins to focus in. There's a little bit more of chunkier pieces in the middle, but it's more diced than anything else. But as you can see, with that bacon action to go with, and of course, plenty of garlic, 
the buttery goodness with this, guys. This is a nice, very decadent type of side item to go with anything that you get over here at Domino's or just on its own like I'm doing right now. Pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm really sorry I waited so long to come on back to give these stuffed cheesy breads a shot. I think the very first one that I did was the spinach and feta way back in the day. And if I'm not mistaken, that was my very first Domino's pizza review here on the channel. And it was actually a side item, not an actual pizza. So you're probably seeing that jumping up on your screen here right now. Take a look at that. It's a little cringeworthy, I'm sure, but it'll give you all the detail on that particular one. And while I'm definitely glad to have started off with that one, guys, this is actually a very nice one to come back to over seven plus years later. So let me give you another look at it here. Three pieces all at one time. Really digging the toastiness. The oven break bread goodness here is such a lovely situation indeed. And as you can see, plenty of cheese to go around. Some of the caramelized edges along with it as well. This is just very, very decadent. And of course, with the smoked bacon and the chopped jalapeno, a very lovely combination, especially with that garlic dipping sauce, AKA the butter sauce. And just so you know, I almost went in on ranch sauce with this actually. I think that combination would have been pretty good as well. The creamy tang of ranch along with all those ingredients along with the smoked bacon and the jalapeno. But when I saw garlic, I'm like, I gotta do it. I'm sure it's gonna be a butter type sauce. And it was, but like I said, more butter than garlic, still very tasty though. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the stuffed cheesy bread, the bacon and jalapeno variant here at Domino's, a pretty awesome nine out of 10. Guys, it was super delicious across the board. My only gripe with it, however, is that the toppings, believe it or not, were a little uneven throughout the bread itself there. It was more kind of like under the top layer of cheese on top of the bread. So not necessarily stuffed, but at the same time, very delicious. And again, with that garlic sauce, AKA the butter sauce, a beautiful combination. Even still, super delicious on its own or with anything else that you would get over here at Domino's. Easy recommendation. All right, so as for the questions outside of the usual, if you're gonna give this one a shot or not, do me a quick favor, drop some comments down below. Out of the last seven years that I've been doing reviews here on the channel, how many times have you had the stuffed cheesy bread over at Domino's? And if you've had it, which one is your particular favorite? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yes, sir. Definitely a banging situation on this one, but how could it possibly not be with all that melted cheese, right? Come on. All right, everyone. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.